This is Jocko Podcast number five with Echo Charles and me, Jocko Willink. Good evening, Echo Charles. Good evening. Welcome to podcast number five. Thank Here you. we are. Here we are, number five. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. So, tonight, I got asked on Twitter, hey, could you talk about coaching some people? And that kind of prompted me to think about something that I have pulled out in the past when I'm teaching some leadership classes. And what this is, is two counseling notes that I wrote for sessions when I was trying to help a couple of SEAL leaders improve themselves and get better. And the first one was for a SEAL that was a buddy of mine and who was a little bit junior to me, just a little bit junior in me in rank, but you know, because I was a prior enlisted SEAL, I had actually been in the SEAL teams for a much longer time. And this guy was a real great, great leader, great guy, and very passionate about doing a, a solid job and very passionate about the SEAL teams, which is an awesome thing to see. And with that passion, and I've said this before, sometimes your strength can be your weakness. And sometimes he would get a little bit too passionate about stuff and a little bit emotional and be a, be a little bit easy to read. And so I was in a meeting with him and I kind of saw how he was acting and I saw how other people were reacting to him. And so when I saw that, I kind of sat down and just put some words on paper to let him know that he had a little area of improvement. And what's good about this is, you know, I was the detached person. So I was able to sit outside the situation and just watch and see, oh, that's that he's not coming across the way he thinks he's coming across. And so I'm going to start off with that one. This is pretty positive. Echo, when question. You, when, you, when you say put words on paper, is that like an official thing? You know, like when you get written up at work or something, it's like, here's your this official one, warning. Right. This one was not. This was just a bro saying, yeah. hey, man. Here's some here's some tips. Almost like a DL note, almost. Yeah, yeah a yeah, DL yeah, yeah. note. Yep. Yeah, this is a DL note. note DL. So what's interesting is you, there's there's in the SEAL teams there's not a lot of writing up in this in this capacity. So if somebody has a safety violation where they do something unsafe, that gets written up immediately. But this type of thing is a little bit. You know, because normally you're just trying to bring someone along and help them out and improve their leadership. You know, it's just mentoring. So a lot of times that you don't need to document when you're trying to help out your buddies. Mm -hmm. The the reason that's why I'm kind of lucky here. I forget what it was, but I, you know, I went to a meeting. He was in it, and I kind of forget the situation. But for whatever reason, I wrote this down, and I think I sent it to him, and said, "Hey, let's talk about this later." But just just wanted to give you this stuff, mm -hmm. you know, now. And so I'm I'm kind of lucky that I wrote it down is kind of like in the spirit of organization. You yeah. Know, and just, like, I think it was more of just, I couldn't talk to him immediately for right, whatever right. reason. Yeah, and so, so I just sent him an email yeah, and said, Hey yeah. bro, okay. just, just, or I like left it on his desk. I forget if it was digital. It's probably email, but right. so here we go. And there's, there's some interesting comments in here and that's why I think I saved it. And that's why I think it's, it, it's good conversation. 